welcome back to Gen Beauty. My name is Jennifer and here on my channel I like to chat about all things beauty and makeup. Today I have my monthly Ipsy haul and a few add-ons because apparently I just can never help myself. So this month for the Glam Bag Plus we have this drawstring bag. I still hate these bags. Like the bags themselves are like they're fine quality, you know, for what you get. But I just hate the drawstring bags. And when I first started getting Glam Bag Plus a couple years ago, they were a zippered bag. And then they did away with those. I guess a bunch of people I guess a bunch of people complained. I was not one of them. Um, that they had too many of those same bags. And so they made the switch to this. They did something at one point where you could like choose to get your bag or an item, I think. That was around the time that I was canceling, so I wasn't paying too much attention to it. Uh, that did not last for long though. So this month's theme is Hotel Paradise. Warm breezes, lush landscapes, major glow. This month, check into a vacay state of mind. Hello, massages and matching, matching mani-pedis, which I clearly don't have. Unwind and go ahead, order room service. Um, okay, that's cool and all. So let's talk about what they picked for me, what I picked for myself, and what I was dumb enough to add on and pay for. So... The first thing that we have is an Ipsy pick for me, which is the Aloe or Alo Glow System Radiance Serum. This says it is Amla and Hyaluronic treatment for dewy, bouncy, illuminated skin, suitable for all skin types. And sometimes it gives the uh, like MSRP. So it says value is $68. I can't tell you a time when I would ever pay $68 for a hyaluronic acid serum, but you know, maybe some people do. The, the only thing that I am concerned about with this one is that it says it includes vitamin C and that is typically like a big no-no for me. So if I can't use it, I will probably see if my mom wants it as we're going into the fall and winter time, she may find that she wants a uh, like nice hydrating serum. Um, I can't get this thing open. All good. So this is what the bottle looks like. And I do like the packaging. It's um, glass, it's nice and um, uh, like sturdy. Let's see if it smells. It just smells clean fresh. Doesn't really smell like anything. I don't know why I put this on the inside of my hand instead of the back of my hand, but I guess we're doing it like this. So it is, um, just making sure it doesn't smell. Um, it, it's definitely a serum. It's not oil consistency and it's not, um, it's not like lotion-y or anything. I guess at worst, I could use it on my hands. And um, Ipsy also picked for me the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz in medium brown. And I think this is gonna be a decent color for me. Um, did I need another brow pencil? No. Am I sad about getting to try out the ABH brow pencil? Absolutely not. Um, I am really liking the Tarte one, and this seems to be pretty similar as far as, like, how finely tipped it is. So, um, that's what it looks like, and let me pull the Tarte one that I'm using now and just see, like, how the color measures up. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good color match. So, the one that I'm using now is on top and then the ABH one is on bottom. So I think it's pretty good. Um, to get this in an Ipsy glam bag 
with them not knowing like my brow color, I'm not mad at it. So we're gonna put that with the trash, recycling, what have you. And then, oh, um, it said that that was a value of $23. I would only buy it on sale, even if it's my favorite. I'm just cheap, y'all. Like, I'm not saying it's not worth it. I'm just cheap. And then we have the Pharmacy Filling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. And I picked this for myself. And um, I was watching Misty. Shout out, Misty. Um, and she was talking about how she did not like the smell of the pharmacy products. And I have the Green Clean Cleansing Balm. And I really like that. Like that smell does not bother me at all because it doesn't really have a scent. Or if it does, it's not one that I really notice. Um, <laughs> but this smells like... You know when you walk into a retirement home and you're kind of like hit with the like sterile smell? It's like... A combination of elderly woman perfume and the cleaning sterilizing products it kind of smells like that to me like I don't know what is in it that makes it smell that way I don't know if there is something specific in it that just I don't know this is a no for me on this scent but I'm gonna try to see if like I can get past that because I really, really wanted to try the pharmacy skincare products and I'm now questioning my life choices. So the next item that I picked was the Illum, oh man, y'all, I'm terrible at this. And um, for the pharmacy filling good hyaluronic acid plumping serum, it says this is a value of $48. Did I get not one, but two hyaluronic acid serums in my box this time? Yes. Did I know I was getting them both? Also, yes. But I use a hyaluronic acid serum every single night. My skin loves it. And when I don't use it, my skin misses it tremendously. So I was like, sure, why not? You know? But, um... I have the 111 skin right now that I'm using and I just don't want to pay full price for that. I keep waiting for it to be like in an Ipsy add-on. So moving on, the next item that I picked for myself was the Illamasqua Beyond Liquid Highlighter in OMG. And this is a value of $31. This is pretty like decently sized. You think, well, that's not very big, but when you think about how much liquid highlight you need at one time, this is a lot of product. It's um, 0.5 fluid ounces. This is what the dispenser thingy you do looks like. So I'm just going to take out the tiniest little bit. And I mix just slightly more than this of the ABH um, liquid highlight with my primer. It is definitely OMG. It's something I think I would probably either like lightly tap on, like just the tiniest little bit, or I would put in with my primer or like mix or, or put in with my primer or put under foundation. Words are hard, y'all. Um, I don't know that I would want that like really on my cheeks. But I think it's a pretty color. I'm not mad at it at all. All right. Um, the next item that I picked out for myself. So this is the last item that I picked for myself um, and the rest are add-ons. 
Uh, this is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I have been wanting to try this. Um, I have a small little like mini size of one of these Super Goops. It might be the Unseen Sunscreen. Oh, this has a steel on it, but I can't remember. When does this bad boy expire? I have until November 2023 to use this. I will absolutely get this used up before then, so I'm not worried about that. And it says that this is a value of $27. And um, that's not a lot for $27. This is one fluid ounce. If you're actually applying like the two finger lengths, like they, you know, say that you do need, which for most of my sunscreens, I do find that's an appropriate amount to like fully cover my face and neck. So take that with a grain of salt. All right, now let's see what I decided to treat myself to. One of my add-ons was the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Condition and Restore Moisturizing Cream. So the reason I picked this is because my mom was saying that she needed a night cream. And so I took her the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream that I couldn't use. And then the um, e.l.f. cream as well. Is it me or does this smell like Elmer's glue? Maybe my sense of smell is jacked. Like I did have COVID a month ago, so <laughs> maybe things aren't back to normal. I don't know. Um, anyways, my thought process was if she liked those, she could keep them. And if she didn't, then by the time uh, she realized she didn't, this would be here. But in any case, I like to keep an extra night cream on hand between the two of us. We will absolutely use it. I'm just trying to make sure that my oldest ones get rotated out first. Like right now I have a Tula and a Tarte that are open. And then in addition to that, I also have um, another moisturizer that's open. And that one I just opened um, because I finished my tart one and I chose that one because I bought it at TJ Maxx so while it's not the oldest it is likely the oldest <laughs> so it's not the oldest to come into my home but it's still likely probably the oldest because I don't trust that things at TJ Maxx are rotated out appropriately or not sitting on shelves for a while it's fine like it's working fine then I got the MZ Skin Soothe and Smooth Hyaluronic Brightening Eye Complex and I just, I'm not really sure why I chose this. It smells pretty good. Um, I think because I saw it was cruelty free, I was thinking hyaluronic acid, I might like around my eyes when it, they start to get really dry because I do have issues with my eyes watering. Um, the value is $143. Um, there is no way, even if this is like my holy grail, have to have it eye cream, that I will spend $143 on another one of these. So I'm just going to enjoy it while I got it on the cheap. Um, the packaging is really nice. It is a very beautiful, like pink frosted glass with a beautiful like gold lid. So I, I don't hate that at all. It's definitely bougie. I'm not really a bougie bitch. I just like to enjoy crap that's bougie. And then I got myself the Tula Skincare Filter Primer Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. Y'all, I said I wanted my primer numbers to go down, but I was like, yo, it's Tula. I love Tula. Um, so far, everything from Tula I've tried, I have really genuinely loved. And um, 
I do want to try this a lot, but I'm going to have to like rein myself in and use some of my older primers first, even if they're just the mini ones that only take me like two weeks to get through. I am going to be focusing on them before I allow myself to try this. I think. We'll see. We'll see how I do. And then I got myself the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Cream. It says it's a serum in a cream. Doesn't really smell like anything. Oh my God. I'll be back. My kid needs a towel. Okay. Um, so I got the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair Cream. And um, it says it's a serum in a cream with soothing Japanese indigo. Uh, again, I was just kind of thinking like my mom needed an overnight cream. She may want to try it or I may want to try it. Um, in any case, one of us will like it. All right. So from, for upgrading from a monthly subscription to an annual subscription, I got a free gift and it is the Rena Beauty, the Lisa Rena Lips. Um, Guilty Pleasure Lip Gloss. Is that the shade? Guilty Pleasure? I don't know why I'm so clueless, y'all. It didn't really smell like anything. It is a little sticky. Little, little thick, little sticky, but it's a pretty shade. It's kind of like a peachy nude. Not bad. I have gotten much worse free gifts before, so I'm not mad at it. All right, so that wraps up this month's Ipsy Glam Bag. I think, honestly, the thing that I'm, like, freaking most excited for is the sunscreen because I use SPF every single day. Um, I take medication that gives me like photosensitivity. So very, very important that I wear sunscreen every single day. I always put it on my face, my neck, and my arms, um, even if I'm not going outside. And then um, I'm actually excited about this uh, liquid highlighter. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it to begin with because I'm working on this ABH liquid glow that's a little bit older. And um, I kind of want to get through as much of this as I can to start with before I start in on another one. But um, it's a really pretty shade. It's honestly just a little bit more pinky than the ABH one. Not that much different. And then I'm freaking stoked to try an eye cream. I've been trying to make sure I use one every single day. That was something that I was not very good at. It was a little bit boring of a bag as far as like, oh, I'm really excited that this ABH uh, Brow Wiz is probably going to work for me too. Um, overall, it's a little bit boring of a bag because it's pretty skincare heavy. But um, at the end of the day, I go through skincare a lot. So every day I'm using some sort of skincare and I try to make sure I rotate through my collection and don't keep too many backups. And it's not just me, like I usually provide my mom or my daughter with whatever they need for their skincare needs too. So it's not a terrible thing. Sometimes the more, like, sometimes the less exciting things to get actually end up being the most useful or the best like bang for your buck. Because if I were to receive another eyeshadow palette this month, while that would be so exciting, like to get something else that like is pretty and shiny and ooh and ah, um, it would sit on the shelf with the other like 55 palettes that I have yet to try until I pull it for Shop My Stash or into a project. And so it's not always practical for me to get the more fun things. So I don't really mind getting, you know, a bag that's full of skincare. 
If you got a Glam Bag or Glam Bag Plus, let me know in the comments below what you received. If you're getting BoxyCharm, tell me like your favorite thing that you got out of your BoxyCharm this month. That's enough rambling for today. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more makeup and beauty content from me, hit that subscribe button and I'll have more coming at you. I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>